it's not about the size, it's about the spirit and the power, and I feel this energy, and it's incredible. So, keep it up. Okay. So, buenos dias and hello everyone. My name is Jamie Margolin. I'm 16 years old. I'm too white to be Colombian, and I'm too Colombian to be white. And I'm the founder and president of Zero Hour and the Youth Climate March. We are here at the first ever Youth Climate March on DC in our nation's history. However, youth all around the world have been marching for a lot longer than this. Youth, especially youth of color, indigenous youth, have been raising their voices for climate justice longer than we can count. Because they've been losing their health, their homes, and their lives to climate change in the fossil fuel industry long before I was even born. Speaking of things happening before I was born, in case you haven't noticed, I'm young. Yeah. I was born after 9-11, and you could say I grew up on the internet. I'm kind of dreading my junior year next year. I'm procrastinating on taking driver's ed, and I'm also procrastinating on this summer's reading assignment. I has, still haven't started it. Sorry, Miss Hart. I hopefully have my whole life ahead of me, but maybe I don't. Because not only has the internet always been a reality for Generation Z, but so has the fact that life as we know it on this earth is coming to an end, and that the natural systems that keep us alive are unraveling, and that the choices of leaders over there who should be protecting us are rapidly destroying our hopes and lives for a better future. People often ask me when I realized climate change was a crisis. There was no aha moment for me. Climate change has always been a reality I've grown up with. Destroying my beautiful Pacific Northwest home that I loved so much before my eyes and looming over every decision I make. You wouldn't believe the conversations that go on in high schools today. I remember just a few months ago, I was at lunch and my friend and I were both talking the other day at school about how we never wanted to have kids because climate change, by the time we resettled down, will have made our world and society so violent, unstable, and unlivable, it would be cruel to bring anyone else into it. Think about that. That's a lunchtime conversation in American high schools. Elected officials, leaders, CEOs, that's the world you're leaving our kids with. You've been so corrupted by fossil fuel money. I'm talking to you guys over there. You've been so corrupted by fossil fuel money that you can't see the needs of your own children. You're leaving us with a world so awful we don't want to bring anyone else into it. Is that really the legacy you want to have? Leaders, adults with power, I'm speaking directly to you and I say you gave Generation Z no choice but to drop everything, sacrifice our time, our energy, our childhoods, stand out here in the pouring rain to organize a mass mobilization to get you guys to wake up. Yeah. Wake up, Congress! For the last year, we youth from around the world have spent every waking moment organizing, planning, fundraising on late night calls, my friends, shout out to my friends in the crowd, have gotten sick of me because every time they want to hang out at lunch, I'm on a conference call. Our fundraising director literally faked being sick to finish writing a grant in the nurse's office. <laughs> so why are we doing this? Because climate change kills. We're not here to save something separate from ourselves. We're not here to about hashtag saving the planet. People are dying. And so, for all the innocent lives we have lost to the deadly effects of fossil fuel industry and animal agriculture and factory farming industries, let's take a moment of silence here in the pouring rain. I want you to raise your hand if someone you love or yourself has felt the negative effects of climate change. Look around, that's all of us. So that's why this is zero hour, that's why we're fighting, because this is an emergency. 
after everything I say, I want you to say luchamos, which means we fight in Spanish. Do you want to practice saying it with me? Luchamos. luchamos. Okay. For everyone who has gotten sick and lost their health due to the fossil fuel and chemical industries poisoning our environment. Luchamos! For the thousands of Boricuas we lost in Hurricane Maria, a climate worsened storm exasperated by racism and discrimination that kept the proper aid from being given to Puerto Rican communities. Luchamos! For the countless people poisoned by the fossil fuel empire that the media refuses to report on. Luchamos! For my friends on the sinking Marshall Islands who don't know if they will still have a home by the time they grow up or whether, there will, or whether they will be refugees with only a passport to call home. Luchamos! For all the young people out here marching in the pouring rain and during the weather, marching for our lives, our futures, because we deserve better than the polluted, poisoned, destroyed world that is being left for us. Luchamos! for the brighter future that we know is possible, that we will succeed in building because we have no other choice. Luchamos! Luchamos! Muchas gracias, everyone. Luchamos!